I'm very excited to see what the future holds for this team because I think it's filled with a lot of potential. Nog geen twee weken geleden arriveerde Jordan Henderson in Amsterdam. Na het wachten op zijn werkvergunning, de eerste trainingen en wat sightseeing in de stad, heeft de Engelsman nu ook zijn eerste wedstrijd in het shirt van Ajax gespeeld. Wij volgden hem met onze camera's en spraken hem de day after over de eerste dagen in zijn nieuwe omgeving. Ik heb het heel erg you Het know, was een heel goed eerste 10 jaar of zo. De lads hebben heel erg goed in terms van welkom ons in de groep, de uh, staff. The fans, everybody really, even when I'm in the city, people have been so good. So it's made us feel at home straight away, um, which also helps when I'm trying to perform on the pitch every day in training and, and then in the game. So I've enjoyed it very much so far and hopefully it can just continue this way. Was it what you expected? Um, or yeah. did you have a good picture of... Yeah, I had a, I had a good picture anyway before, but yeah, it's... Even, even probably better than that, you know. It's like I said, the the fans, the the the, the players, the staff, everybody is, has been really good. You know, the arena was amazing to to play there for the first time for Ajax was pretty special. It's a moment I'll always remember. You know, it was a moment for me and the family that will, will, I'll always remember. But hopefully, there's I can have many more games and many more times to put on the shirt and represent this club going forward. That's the aim. Um, so hopefully that's the, the first of many. You couldn't train for the first few days until you went out in the city. Uh, what gave you the idea of the cargo bike? <laughs> well, everybody's on bikes in the city, so uh, the kids wanted to have a go on it. Um, so we went around the park and stuff on the bikes, which is really nice, actually. I enjoyed it. Um, so the kids will want to do that more often, I think. Um, that was nice in the city. Yeah, the city has such a good feeling. You know, the people have been amazing, um, and yeah, some some really nice places to go and, and see. Um, so that's been also really good to to see that at the beginning. Yeah. Besides the bike, what other typical Dutch things did you do? I or went eat maybe. The the, the, the best. Uh, one of the most the things I liked the best was like the the canal boat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went on that with the. Um, the other day and that was really nice, you know, really nice to go around the canals and stuff and see everything on the boat, that was, that was really special. Do you already have a house or still in a hotel? I've just moved out of the hotel so I've found somewhere um, for the time being which is, which is nice just to get my own bit of space um, and try and settle in even more. Uh, we also saw that you watched the game of Young Ajax. What um, made you decide to, to go there and have a look? I trained with them the day before. Um, I got to know them a little bit and I just felt as though I wanted to go and watch to see how they got on, support them to try to um, yeah, see how they've done and they've done well. Not only bij Jong Ajax zag Henderson jonge talenten, ook bij zijn debuut tegen PSV stonden er jonge spelers om hem heen. Onder wie de 17-jarige Jorel Hato. Yeah, it's crazy um, how young he is, but obviously how mature he looks when he's on the pitch and, and, and also off the pitch, you know, he's a really mature person, um, works hard, um, fantastic player and yeah, he has, a, he has a bright future ahead of him, I'm sure. What are the things you can help him with? Um, I think he just needs to continue to do what he's, he's been doing, obviously um, it's been working for him, but yeah, I'll try to help him and also other players. If they ask for a little bit of advice or I feel as though I can help them, I'm sure I'll, I'll try and do that, of course. And do they come to you for advice already? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you're used to a lot of pressure uh, on big matches, but uh, now all eyes were on you, specifically. Uh, did you feel any of that pressure? I think you always feel pressure to come, you know, come to a new club to, to, to try and help. So, of course, there's going to be pressure to, to perform. Um, but that's normal and that's good, you know, as a footballer you want pressure and um, yeah, I, I loved every second of the year, you know, I loved that I was dying to get out there for weeks now, so just to get out on the pitch and play was really special for me and um, so honoured to, to be able to play for this team, so many good players, I'm very excited to see what the future holds for this team because I think it's filled with a lot of potential.